Hey, how's it going guys? JC here. Welcome to episode 15 of J to Z Returns. Today we're going to be playing some Ignite TP Cled. And a little bit of a difference is we're going to go full tank Cled. I might actually get that Titanic Hydra a bit earlier because uh, it will be really nice to have that instant wave clear with Sunfire and Titanic. Once you have Sterix and Gargoyles, you're basically unkillable because these double shields are just insane. Because of Titanic Hydra, you're going to have some damage too. So that's why we can go Conqueror and... You know, just start destroying the squishy. So we can destroy like Annie, we can destroy Master Yi. We might not be able to kill Mundo, depending on how fed he is. But yeah, everyone else is free pickings. And because they have a Master Yi, I'll eventually get Thornmail as well. So that's why the Bramble's there. It will eventually turn into Thornmail. So these with these runes, we do have a lot of kill pressure early on as well. But what we want to do is be careful because we have no flash. So getting away will be an issue. So I don't want to commit too hard unless we see an opportunity to just definitely get a kill. So right now we'll just play it slow. And we'll land our bear traps on Mundo as often as we can. Okay, I missed. Landing those isn't too important because Mundo did get buffed. So he'll just regen it all up. level 2 here. Also want to hold it onto the... Hmm, ouch. Pop a potion here. We don't want to get dismounted though. But if we do, it's still okay, I guess. You can't take what's mine. Okay, so push in. And then we look for a potential roam. So we want to put a point in W once we dismount. So we can instantly remount. That's the idea. Right now it's a bit scary because we could get ganked. Okay, we see Master E is really far away, so let's push this in and go. So he went 5 camp into Scuttle. Okay, nice. So that's lane priority right there. Put another point in our Q because we're level 4. And just keep that point of W. I don't have trouble communicating. So we just have to rinse and repeat that. As long as we roam, have lane priority, I'm not too worried about killing Mundo. Unless we receive a gank. And yeah, 3v2 so we easily win that one. But I have like zero faith in Amumu players because they seem to put themselves behind very often. Just even if they give the, the game is handed to them on a silver platter, they'll still somehow manage to fall behind. Oh! oh! Wait, I remounted. He actually had enough damage to kill me like that. Excuse me? What the? I didn't think he had enough damage there. That's crazy. Man, that is so unfortunate. Like, if I remount it, then Mundo's dead because I get my E and Q back off a of cooldown and that's a kill. And I thought I played that just right. Like, I didn't make any mistakes there. He went overly aggressive and that was my kill. 
So, I don't know if they buffed Mundo's damage as well. I thought they just buffed his sustain. But this patch, I know they definitely buffed Mundo. At least lane Mundo. By quite a lot. Okay, we're level 6 now, so... Potential to roam. Oh, also he has Bramble, so... Um, it's not going to be fun to fight him. Okay, Yi is dead. That's really good. It's important that Yi is... Um, doesn't get too strong. Because he does run over low elo games. And there's not much he can do about it either once he gets strong. Okay. By the way, our runes are all about scaling, so overgrowth and conditioning. So perhaps that's why we didn't make it, is because we had those runes instead of bone plating. And that costed me. Why is she playing so far back? Damn, she's really... Oh, there we go. Uh, he came up on the last second too. That was really unfortunate again. Don't need a play, long as I got this axe. If we turned and killed the Yi, I think I would have been fine. I could have remounted and we just get a free kill. Maybe we can get a tower here. Tower plating, rather. So far, it's been very unfortunate early on, but I think based on based on that gank, I'm just going to focus on bot lane ganks instead. Okay, Yi is here. Also, because we're this tanky, uh, we don't have to worry too much about the minions early on as well. The idea is mainly just to shove and roam. Or, at this rate, just survive. Just survive, get items, and then we can be super useful without engages. Oh, what the... Oh wow, they're so low at bot lane. I don't have a TP for this. Oh, I missed. Damn, if I landed that bear trap would have been nice. I should have just been patient since he was just inting there. I think that would have been a kill. Alright, let him do that one more time and we should have a kill. Oh, 
Whoa. Wait, that hits so hard. Okay. See if I could get a. Mm, never mind. He's pushing really fast. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to just teleport top so we don't fall too far behind. There's nothing on the map at the moment. Okay, potentially roam mid soon. I'll push this out and roam mid. So Mundo was doing Rift the whole time. If I went and checked myself, I would have just died. Oh. oh he's kind of low. Push in and then we'll look for mid lane. I think that's the way to go. Or maybe dragon or even bot lane. Oh, he went in. Wow, they're so low. See if I could make a roam here. Okay, we get our Sunfire, it's not too bad. Let's see... The threats are mainly... AD, I guess. So right now we're going to work towards a Titanic. Okay, that tower's gone. Also, like, Annie rushed Zonyas so early. So I'm not sure why Ezra went top. I have no idea why he's top. I couldn't farm. What is he doing? So, and Amumu is so far away.
All right. Wait, right, he's over here. Oh, the massive debate. If I could get my Titanic, I'm gonna do some massive damage. Tons of damage. And then after that, we could look for... Yeah, we could start working towards Bramble. Oh, what the? Oh, what the? Wait, we just killed the ultra strong Mundo. OP. Wait, that means we can get a... Oh, hello. Nah, I can't go in on this one. Zed was too far away. By the time Zed arrives, there's three people wailing on me for way too long. Okay. Sweet, so we get our Hydra here and we have our ult up so we can look for a roam. Well, you the only thing I trust. Uh they're just Straight B lining away from. Okay, let's look. Okay, let's just kill this guy. Whoa. Absolute destruction right there. Oh, I wanted that kill. Okay. So let's head towards mid. We'll push that out. Maybe get a tower again. Yeah, two towers. That'd be really nice. Yeah, I'm really liking this build where you go uh, Sunfire into Titanic and then you go full tank. Which, oh, we're already really tanky. And if you're up against the auto attacker, like Trindamir, you can also go Tabby Bramble and then the same build. Oh, look at that CS. I get CS all of that from the first minion. That's so nice. Now we go to top lane and then we'll farm that out as well. Just want to get as much farm as possible, please. Okay, drop a ward there. Oh, Ezreal just died to Master E. That's really bad. The last person you should feed is Master E. Okay. We're slowly catching up on farm. Just clawing our way back into the game. Okay, sweet. My ult's up. Okay, now I also have Tabbies and Bramble. This is huge. We're, we're massive right now. Look at our health bar.
Alistair's very slow. Oh, that snap in Alpha. You see that? My bear trap snapped during his Alpha. So it literally <laughs> killed him <laughs> while he was in Alpha. That's pretty good. The insert Calcep meme. Oh, I can teleport if we want to do. Mine too late. Only if we went straight there, then it'll, whoa, what the? This guy's suicidal. Just because they're our team, don't mean we can trust them. I'm liking this damage. It's really nice. Because these are both like semi. Um, offensive items, Sunfire and also Bramble, they they do damage as well. So it's really nice to have. And if I'm farming well as well, then I'm going to be doing a, a lot of damage with Sterix, which is next up. You can't be so it makes you really tanky. I just kill the Mundo. <laughs> I just kill anything. It doesn't even matter. Anyone I jump on just dies, including the Mundo. Even though he's like these items, it doesn't matter. This is so nice. But imagine building something like this against Trindamir. Like Trindamir already struggles against Kled. But this just completely kills any opportunity Trinomir has. If you go Tabby Bramble and then Sunfire into Titanic, he's just it's just over. Like if Trinomir can't kill you the first two levels, then you pretty much just take over. Unless he builds tank as well, then that's a different story. Look at our assists. We're like getting so many assists but no kills. Just go straight in. Oh, let's go. Oh. Alright, this Annie is not doing so hot. Oh, hello. Oh! What the? Wait, why? How? 8 and 4 though, or she was 8 and 3. How does that even work? Okay, that's real dead. I have to watch out for my Titanic. If it splashes onto um, Thresh, then I take Tower aggro. But then earlier, Alistair got aggro. What is he? Oh, Bramble, that's why he got aggro. So they're looking to split push to win, huh? That wave clear is so nice with Titanic. Nice. It doesn't even matter who gets on me, I just kill.
I think I can tank them literally forever. I have my Sterex as well. Once I get my goggles, it's over. I just have a massive shield. Oh wait, I should get... Yeah, I have plenty of armor, so let's get some MR for this Annie. Although, Annie and Mundo. So far, we got two dragons for our team. So we're really just swaying all the team fights and all the objectives. I wonder if I can kill this Mundo now. Now that I have some damage, I also have healing reduction from my bear trap and also my ignite and bramble. Let's see if I could kill him. Ah. Oh. I wasn't actually going to be able to kill him because if I cancelled his back... Yeah, if I cancelled his back, uh, I already used my E, so I have no way of keeping on him. I have to be careful, if I get jumped here, I'm dead. Even if I could tank forever, I mean, it's not literally forever, it's just a very long time. Like, if there's a Trist and a Thresh, Thresh is down there. Okay, I'm gonna push mid, and then we'll ult to bot. Let's go bot. I just smacked something, but honestly, I'm just tanking. Okay, we got the Mr. Yi. Yeah, she's not going to kill me. I'm way too tanky, even in mini form. Yeah, this build is disgusting, guys. No wonder it's high win rate. Like, you just have to... Um, note that... Oh, I got aggro. You just have to note that you have to be careful early game. Depending on matchup, really. I'm just farming. I don't think we did the most damage because we are full tank and these guys are just blowing people up at the moment. I think Ezreal might have done the most damage. Even though he lost lane, but... We, we had a nice comeback. Ooh. Oh, where are you going, Ezreal? Oh. Game might not be over. Maybe I can feature gargoyles. Okay, I guess we do end it. Oh well. Little bit disappointed. See that healing reduction on the Mundo. But yeah, <laughs> GG well played. That was really nice and fun. And I think I had enough gold to basically just buy my full build. Gargoyles and everything. By the way, once you have gargoyles, you pop it, your health literally doubles. That's what it does. It, it just doubles your health for like two and a half seconds. So if they're bursting you, you see everyone jump on you, just press it right away. And then you, you like, all their cooldowns are gone. And then you now have your base health and they have no abilities left. That's just how amazing Gargoyles is. So you want to use it like that because we didn't get to that stage. Just want to clarify and explain. But yeah, GG well played. Uh, 
Mm, I just like close my eyes and honor. Okay, we're honored, Ezreal. But yeah, let's have a look at the end game stats. Nine and two. So we had two deaths at the start, and after that, we just steamrolled. Also had the highest CS. Yeah, Ezreal did the most damage. Well, we actually came second, so if it wasn't for Ezreal... Actually, how did Ezreal do so much damage? I didn't get it. Like, Ezreal was losing at some point, but I guess he just kept going in, and then eventually it just worked out. So yeah, that was really interesting. Ezreal just does so much damage. Yeah, last video we had a Master E that did really well, because I guess we might have had a part in it. I don't know, but he just snowballed. And then this video... We destroyed that Master E, so that felt really good. Next video is going to be Maokai, and it should be quite soon as well. So, yeah, I will try my very best to upload more frequently. What I've been doing recently is just trying to climb. I got into Master's promos, and then after that, uh, after a week of playing, I dropped to Diamond 2. So I'm still rusty, still a bit washed up, and it feels extremely devastating, and it feels really bad. So, um... You know, it's just part of the progress, I guess. And I don't know if I could get back up there because I feel so shattered at the moment. So yeah, GG well played. Thank you so much. That was just a quick update. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Cheers.